Throughout most of my weight loss journey and my most recent caloric deficit, I've eaten a variety of foods that have helped me assist me in my weight loss journey. Many of these foods are on the lower side of calories. However, many of these foods or things can actually come to a surprise. Back when I was a 240 pound kid, I had no idea what I was supposed to eat, what proteins I was supposed to get in, what carbs I was supposed to get in. I still continued grabbing McDonald's to eat and eating out almost every day, not being aware of actually what I was putting in my mouth. Even with the initial weight loss, there were times where I did still go to the McDonald's or ate out, but I was on a caloric deficit. Caloric deficit, which means, yeah, I'm burning more calories and I'm eating less which will lead to weight loss. Over time through doing more research and learning how to track my calories, I did in fact find foods and ways to help me lose 85 pounds and even lose weight on a recent caloric deficit cut that I went on. So I'm gonna go over the foods that I've eaten throughout my weight loss journey and how they've helped guide me. Quest, 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 quest. Quest has so many high protein things and so many good options to eat when you're on weight loss because most of their bars or chips or whatever snacks they provide they're low in calorie my favorite is the quest protein chips only like 140 cows for like a whole bag of 32 grams of chips really good flavors overall i also like the quest bars the oreo bar in particular really good and there's so many other flavors out there but why quest bar specifically because a higher protein intake is important for weight loss it's one of the most important factors in your diet because on weight loss, we want to eat a higher protein diet, more than carbs, more than fats, because we're trying to burn off the fat and build a bit of muscle as well. Chicken breast, it's another source of protein, but chicken breast or chicken tenderloins in specific, they're so lean and so less in fats that they're just a good source of protein. A lot of the meats do have fat. And you have to watch out for that because there's some a lot of ground meats or certain cuts of chicken that are higher in fat and with weight loss you want to eat in a lower fat diet whites i usually get the bob evans carton one and i usually have egg whites for breakfast with my regular eggs most of the time during my caloric deficit i will have regular eggs too like i said but at times too many of them can be high in fats and smoothies smoothies oh my gosh you can literally mix in anything and drink out of it well not anything per se usually with smoothies i like to mix in frozen fruits and then add in a scoop of whey protein powder that one gram of protein per one gram of body weight so if i weigh 170 i'm gonna eat 170 grams of protein or you can do 0.7 times or 0.8 times but man smoothies there's so many combinations you can do a lot of people like adding spinach and then you add in the ice you can even make milkshakes with it you can buy that Ninja Creamy. I, that's on my wish list. I really wish I had that, but I could don't. There's so many options you could do with the smoothies. I like to add in blueberries. I like to add in frozen mangoes, frozen strawberries, and then just hit the blend button and mix it all together. Some bananas. Usually I'll use water or most of the times I'll use almond milk. Make sure the almond milk is vanilla or original and it has good flavoring. And the flavor of the protein powder really doesn't matter because sometimes having like a chocolate blueberry shake or a chocolate straw, that sounds pretty good. And with some oatmeal too, that way you could get in your carb and fiber requirements. I mean, you're doing that fat version of you a favor. Hot sauces and low calorie sauces, these will save you. So there's so many people out there that would literally eat chicken and rice plain without anything, without anything topped on it. But there's so many zero cal sauces, zero cal dressings or low calorie sauces like the G Hughes. G Hughes is just simply the best freaking barbecue. Wow, the low calorie version is just, it's a masterpiece. Like I pour that all over my meats and stuff. Same with the Ray's barbecue sauce, low calorie. I'm just a big barbecue sauce fan, but there's also low cal ketchup as well. If you're a ketchup guy. You can also use a lot of hot sauces are very low in calorie or sometimes don't even have a lot of calories or zero, such as Red Hot. Red Hot, perfect. You just put it on your eggs, your meat, whatever, and you'll make it a little spicy and a little tangy and good. Lastly, one of the best ones is diet sodas. For so long, the 240 pound me, I remember he would wake up and drink a Coke, play games, drink a Coke. After school, come back home, 
drink a Coke, drink a Sprite, and then get like out a Mountain Dew. Go to the store, buy a whole thing of Mountain Dew, which is like 70 grams of sugar. I don't know, even more than that. It's like, come on, you're just adding on calories and really destroying your health over time like he did. Now with diet sodas, there's so many recommendations. Diet Dr. Pepper literally tastes just like Dr. Pepper to me. That's just me, but it's one of my favorites. I also really like Sprite Zero and Coke Zero because they taste really good compared to Diet Coke or Diet Sprite. I've never been a fan of Diet Sprite or Diet Coke. I've always like cringed or gagged when I drank them, but trying Coke Zero and Sprite Zero, man, they're just so freaking good such as Diet Fanta, Orange Fanta in particular, super good diet soda as well. And those are some of the top foods that I recommend eating on a weight loss, on a fat loss phase, specifically for the fat loss phase. And you could also eat these too for being on a caloric deficit when you're cutting to look leaner, right? When you build on the muscle, or you can sometimes even eat these foods on a bulk, just increase the portions of them. And that's it for this video. I hope y'all enjoyed. I hope y'all give a sub please follow. I post almost every week and I also post more weight loss motivational videos and weight loss informational videos. If you're ever interested on one-on-one -on -one coaching or if you need a program to help guide you, I have all that in my link tree and you can sign up or buy the program.